Have you ever wondered what makes Sharia accounting so unique? Welcome to a world where accounting principles align with ethical and moral values. A world where every financial decision considers social responsibility and economic justice. Let's begin our journey with a fascinating case study. Meet Ahmad, a young entrepreneur who decided to start his own business. He wanted to ensure his venture not only generates profit, but also contributes to societal well-being. To achieve this, he chose to follow the principles of Sharia accounting. Sharia accounting, unlike conventional accounting, is not solely about profit and loss. It is an accounting system that incorporates the principles of the Islamic law, Sharia. This law encourages business transactions that promote economic justice and prohibits practices that involve excessive risk or harm to society. Ahmad, for instance, refrained from investing in businesses dealing with alcohol or gambling, not because they weren't profitable, but because they're considered haram or forbidden under Sharia law. This is a key principle of Sharia accounting, the prohibition of investments in businesses that are harmful to society. Another principle that Ahmad followed is the prohibition of riba or interest. In Sharia accounting, earning money through interest is considered unjust. Instead, businesses are encouraged to engage in trade and investment activities. Ahmad, for instance, decided to invest in a local farm, sharing the profit and loss with the farmers, which is a model known as Mudaraba. Now, let's look at another case study. Meet Fatima, a successful businesswoman who runs a clothing line. She implemented the principle of zakat in her business model. Zakat, one of the five pillars of Islam, is a system of obligatory charity. According to Sharia accounting, businesses should give a certain percentage of their wealth to the needy. Fatima, for instance, dedicates 2.5% of her business profit annually to various charitable causes. To ensure transparency and fairness in her business, Fatima also implements the principle of ijtihad. This involves employing Islamic scholars who have a deep understanding of Sharia law to make informed decisions about business practices. In essence, Sharia accounting is not just about financial transactions, it's about creating a business environment that values social responsibility, economic justice, and ethical conduct. To summarize, today we delved into the fascinating world of Sharia accounting. We explored its unique principles such as the prohibition of investments in haram businesses, the avoidance of riba or interest, the implementation of zakat or obligatory charity, and the use of ijtihad for decision-making. We saw how these principles were applied in real-life scenarios through the case studies of Ahmad and Fatima. Sharia accounting, indeed, offers a unique perspective on how businesses can be profitable while also being socially responsible and just. It serves as a compelling example of how accounting can go beyond numbers and play a significant role in shaping a better world.